right, so what are we cooking this morning, lady? Hi, guys. So your today is Sunday, the 1st of November. Woo! So we're going to cook a can sausage and fried dumpling. I know you see a video with it. I'm not carrying you all steps through it. I'm just walking you through some of it. All right, but I decided that I want you to be a part of it. So why not come along? So here we are. I pre- um done some of the things already so the steps won't be long and dreary you don't have to see me cleaning up because you have seen that in previous videos that we did so let me take you through some of the things that i already did so what happened to the so i put some of my oil which is about a cup or a cup and a half of vegetable oil you can use any oil you my choose boil here, so too. this is just my water that i'm going to boil my ati in so we are going to do this now so I've already preheated my stove with the oil mm. and you can see it's on low. Remember, you don't want your oil to be too overly hot so you're going to burn up your dumplings. You want it. Oh, so it's for the dumplings? Yes, this one okay. is for the dumpling and this one that is boiling it's here for the is for the ackee. All right, cool. All right, so walk with me. So I'm going to open up my ackee. Watch out, let you can open now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We'd have to open it up with a knife. See those manual ones, they're terrible though. They break all the time. So what are we doing? Open it up. Thank you. Look at that easy, man. And here comes her son because he's excited when he hears different things happening in the kitchen. Right, other man? See? This is how it looks in the brine. Doesn't look delicious at all. No. So we're going to... I see it. Don't, don't throw away the, the, the top because you need it to strain off the ackee, right? You don't throw away all that good ackee from the sink. Oh, so we're just removing that liquid from it? Right, which is the brine. Okay. That's what to preserve the ackee because you know it has to be on shelf for it, before we can start eating. Okay. So at this time, I'm going to turn on my pipe, but I'm going to put it on the highest. Oh, you're going to rinse it off? Off that All right. Still. So don't just boil it as it is. Mm -hmm. Rinse it. I'm trying to All right, so I pull it up for a while. And they do the same thing. You can do this about two to three times. All right, cool. So I'm sure we've made the mistake of not rinsing it off in the past. What does it taste like when you're not when they don't do that? It tastes like the brine is still on it. It has that that um. I think it has a tangy taste, like that, right, like, like that, vinegar. Right, it's so potent. Yeah, you don't want it's that. pretty. It's pretty terrible. So I said you can do this two to three times just to make sure that you know. And there's there's something that I do too as a trick. I allow it to stay in the tin for like a minute or just a minute to make sure that what is done in the bottom comes to the top, right? So don't worry. So why don't you just pour it out in like a strainer? And that, that, would that work as well? You can, but then you see the strainer sometimes, remember the ackee is soaking for a while, so those it's a bit of pieces that you oh, okay, it'll break stuck apart. It, be right, it's stuck in the tr strainer. Remember, it don't come fresh from the tree, so okay. we want all the aki that we can get. All right, so what do we have here? So what we have here, I'm going to hold this up so you, don't, you can see clearly. Mm -hmm. It's our spur tree Jamaican aki, and it says in brine. So I'll tell you a little about that as I prepare this. Why do we choose this, this particular brand? Um, it does not, it doesn't give that, even though they say it is in brine, it's not that, the taste is not that bad after we do what we're supposed to be doing. Okay. Right. So, so it's not like when you have the natural ackee for the tree, this is a slight difference with them? Yes, because again, it is in brine. So this is already put in brine. Oh, for it's like, okay, okay, so it has that taste about it. Right, ackee from the tree is fresh. You pick them, you boil them, and good to go. And you're good to go. Mm. Then we have, um, I've already cut up some of my season that is going to be used for the ackee. We have the tomatoes or the tomato, right? That's what I use. See, everybody uses different. You can always tell me what you use. I also have cut up my onions here and I didn't put them together. I separated them because I need my onions to bring out the flavor when cooking. Also, I have my bacala 
some people call it Jamaican so saltfish or codfish yes and also one more ingredient that I'll be also preparing today which is my plantain and for the Spanish they say platanos so that's another thing and I'll reveal underneath this all dun, 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 dun. what is there? it is my dumpling which is my dough Oh, good old fried dumpling. Yes. Mm. That all go good with the Akino. Very well. Absolutely. <laughs> so why I cover it is to, that it doesn't get too much moisture, doesn't go in there, so I can cover it while it rises. Right? What's your science you thing? You have to learn. So we're going to add our Aki to the boiling water. As you can see, wait until your water is boiled, then you add it. Now give them a dollar about the money back in the garbage, huh? Right. <laughs> Put everything in there. And it's funny, these things are very expensive. They're not great. I mean, if you have the fresh ackee, obviously it's going to be better, but right. it's what we have here. So see, this is what left the empty can. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to start our fried dumplings now while the ackee is boiling, right? So we're going to juggle. All right, so flower time. Right. So I'm going to carry the entire Thing with me. And people trust me, she makes the best fried dumpling. Uh, how you know they're the best fried dumpling is when you put them in your mouth and they're not like breaking your teeth apart, all right? So <laughs> I said that because whenever she makes her dumplings, they're very soft, right? Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. So as I go, I cover it because I don't want anything to here to go in there and start hardening everything. I'm just going to make the regular ones for today. You can make, I'll make different shapes so you guys can see different shapes that I make. Professional dumpling maker. I believe she said that her mommy is the one that show her how to do it still, so she's learning from the old, the old school. And trust me, making dumplings are not easy. workshop and I'm enough in farming these things and because of how it was sitting for a while you have to watch it for the first step yeah because it goes by quick and they'll fry fast yeah uh, we do not have an exact temperature for us we put it on high and then you turn it down obviously because now you don't want it to stay stay high you, you you put it on high to keep to get to get it to get to the, the, the correct temperature and then you, you adjust right now I think it's on a low it's on a low um, settings, and that's to just cook these things. As you see, she she's showing it. You have to keep keen attention. You don't want the dumplings to, to burn. And if you look at them, they're already changing. You know, right. it doesn't take any time. But inside is where you you kind of have to let that soak a little bit. Right. So how many would you put in this pot now? Um, up to seven. Can all depend on how. Oh, because yeah, she has a deeper part and there's a lot of oil. Right. And I'm not making them big. For those who love the big fried dumpling, this is not the one. These Usually that's a big boiled dumpling still, you know. These are not like big dumplings, you know, they're just too much. Yeah. But some people, yeah, some man can brush 10 dumplings. Mm, they want them dumpling big, man. I think I have a name in, in my head too. So this, for me, I bore holes in them. So when you use a fork poking them, so that means for the ones that are changing colors. If you flip them, you start bore the hole in them. This is the reason for it to, it to cook thoroughly inside. to do this now we're going to remove our because it's been boiling for maybe 10 minutes or more don't put me on that so keep remember hot 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 so how i do this just a little trick i could get my lid but if i don't want to use my lid i just rest it against my seat resourceful watch out i'm gonna 
Mm. Get a zoom shot in there. Hey people, I would recommend this method enough. I would say get a strainer. <laughs> or uh, what's those things that you strain um spaghetti or noodles? But don't try this method. You may lose you may lose your entire act, uh, part part of acid to the sink. We're so. not losing any. <laughs> She's done this so many times that she's gotten used to it. Uh, she can still lose her part of Aki as well. Yes, I can. Um, you know? But you just have to be patient. Mm -hmm. Slowly. That's a good trick though. I've never tried that method. You see what one thing brings? It's only water. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so you see now guys, I am finished. I strained off the excess water from mm. the ackee that was boiling. I'm going to set it aside here. Okay, so now my dumplings are ready to come out as you can see. So you just One, take the fork and remove the excess oil from it. And you also put paper towel in there to... Yes, I put paper towel to dry out the, you know, the oil from the dumpling. You don't want to just eat them as it is. So it's good to use a paper towel. Okay. Take Makes sense. So it's a one of them dump and dumpling already feed right now. Right, as we see. Right, just cool. leave it like a minute, as I said, just because you don't want to get that oily. Mm. Okay, so you can eat with anything that you have prepared at home. See? Look good. Nice and brown. So now we're going to put our ackee together. I'm using the organic extra olive oil. Extra virgin. Extra virgin, sorry. Mm. Extra virgin olive oil. It's early morning. Don't judge me. Trust me, none of when I drink coffee. Right. You have the little one in the background. Anyway, so you can use whatever oil you have. You have vegetable oil, you have your coconut oil, your oil of your preference. So why you choose the, the, uh, the olive oil? Um, I choose onions. the olive oil because um, it is healthier and you know, Aki is already fatty. We right. know that. Natural fat, but we still want to eliminate too much grease because we have to be health wise these days, cool. right? And we can't really use what? I think we can't really use water for gravy either in Aki. No, no, that would so, just be a whole be mash up thing. Yeah. yeah, that would make Aki soup. <laughs> 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 Alright, so here am I going to, I've already preheated my pot, so I'm just going to add the oil so it can get warm up as well. Alright. Um, you can add as much as you want or a little bit as you want. I don't really use a lot of oil. I just allow it to glaze the pot and then, you know, if I need to, then I will go ahead and add more. So, watch me put the seasoning and everything together. Stay tuned. So now I'm going to start with, to put my ackee together with the seasoning first. So I'm going to use my onions. I'm using it first because it takes a longer time to cook, you know, as opposed to the other seasoning that I need. So I, I remember to gauge your fire on low, right? They don't want your honey to just go into a, into a blazing hot right. oil. That, that will sear up right away. It will get dark. Exactly. Yeah. He knows that he does a lot of cooking too. Mm. Yeah. No, but I give him that idea. Yeah. <laughs> if you do want to see Kenny prepare a meal of your choice, you can always put in the link below. Comment. comment yeah. And, and Tell me what you want me to, what, what you want to see me cook. Give some of Mm. But I must say he's a very good cook, but just get used to my cooking. The onions are already um, cooked, so I'm just going to add everything quickly, which is the tomatoes at that time, and I'm going to put the codfish right in. The same thing that come together, all those beautiful colors. We got the red and the white so far. Thing that look good and taste good. And then 
I'm going for the codfish. So all those flavors can work according together. So you have the aki and sawfish that come together. So what, we put the aki last? Yes. Is there a reason why? Um, because the aki is soft, okay. so you don't want it to, to you know, cook too long and, and, and turn like... And then it looks like soup. <laughs> exactly. Trust so me, we've seen those. We want all the other seasoning to cook and to bring out the flavor, so when the aki comes together, everything will marinate and okay. together. So we're going to give this like a, a quick minute for everything to merge with the aki and the, the saltfish and the seasoning. Now we're going to add the aki. Good old aki. You see what one thing gives? <laughs> mm -hmm. Can't waste nothing. So we're going to mix everything around now. Yeah. So we're tying everybody, we're seasoning everybody. And this time I turn my flavor down low. Okay, so you turn on the fat, the fat now. Right. Because everything is cooked. It's just now that, and the act is cooked too. It's just to make sure that everybody. So I want to ask. So you do we add any salt to this? Any black pepper? Any? Um. We don't because the codfish um, has salt, so I don't boil my codfish for it to be totally fresh. But then we just had a little black pepper. Okay. So, so it's, you know, just to give that kick. So you can add like a, a, te a teaspoon. A teaspoon? That sounds like a lot, no? Or a teaspoon, corrected. You know, it depends. Some people love a lot of black pepper on their acne. I do not like it that much, but I like the flavor that it gives. Okay. We're just going to get a lid and cover our pot. So. Allow it to put together. Alright, cool. So how long do we leave it like that? We can leave it for like a minute or two. You know, because as I said, it's cooked already. It's just that we just add some seasonings. They want everything to incorporate and cook down together. Alright, cool. But this time we're going to, as you see, I still have my oil. I turn it off because I wanted you guys to see the aki coming together. We're going to do our platanus. Remember, we're not leaving out our good friend, our plantains. So now we're going to fry our plantains, but I have to cut them off so they're, no, they're in skin. So I just break the top and the bottom, just like banana peeling. I just fall the way down. Mm -hmm. I just peel it. Hey, you're so sugar with a knife. What that mean, people? You ain't got no comment, huh? Just throw it away the skin. Then this I girl has it. mad knife skills. She don't cut up herself either, you know? <laughs> I, I, I did. I used to, but not anymore. Alright, so she don't cut up her, her plantains. I'm cutting them. Oh, well, yeah, make them stylish. Watch out now. If you want to cut it long way, that's fine. There's many ways of doing it, actually. But um, she's just chosen to do it this way. Right. Now it's time to fry, or last but not least, the plantain. Mmm. This is a little sugar to the to the break morning breakfast people because this is the ripe ones. Right. Uh, there is actually a different method to fry the green ones. We may show that, right? You would like to see that? Just let us know. He's good at frying the green ones. These uh, are special. Here she's trying to put me on. 
She's trying to put me out there again, huh? No, he does fry them. He has a way of how he does it and it's not greasy. So that's good. Because I have problems with grease. So I guess all of us. So you put all of that in the pot? Yes, I'm going to make room for everybody to go in. Because they're small, so. Okay, so how long do we usually let this dish well? Just let the fried dumpling can turn your box on them. No, not these guys. <laughs> so you have to monitor these things because they fry quickly. Like, literally, you turn your back, they're done. They're done. I just throw them out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so keep watching. So I'm removing them as I remember. They're easily something to fry the planting. They have to look out for them. Nice and brown. You don't want these things to be black. I mean, sometimes when you, if you, if they're overripe, they'll get like that. But Quickly. these are nice colors, though. Nice golden brown. That's all you want them. You notice I'm not moving because can't turn your backs. Literally, they. they it's it sounds funny, right? Yeah, if you move away right now, they're, they're all gone. And right now they're still getting brown and brown as I'm looking at them in the pot. I plated my dumplings and my plantains, and I'm going to add the best part of the meal. The main, the main stuff. Right, my acne. The A quality stuff. Mm. Remember to use a mitten. Because they're hot, they're hot. Don't do us like Jamaican mothers do. Take off the hot, hot off the stove. Uh, you have to talk for yourself. The My plate, this one, yes, biggest please. plate in the house. What do you guys think? Presentation, sir. Did I did a good job? Well, please presentation, now oh, you're selling the girl. Yes, man. What is missing from this dish? A fork. <laughs> A fork. <laughs> All right, guys. I want you to just share, like, and subscribe. Once again, you've been in, my, in the Lewis's kitchen, and remember to click the notification bell because you never know when we are putting out another video. And also comment. Bye. <laughs>